Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It is really foggy today. Can't even hardly see the barns. That's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> Is it better? Maybe. Still pathetic, but. That's a big bearing. Okay, flip her over. There's the problem. At least this time we didn't cook it to where all the seals are cooked. Yeah, and the outer. All the aluminum is melted on these seals. And then you have to really clean up the shaft. So this is a win if you have to replace it. Well, this is where we're at in the tightening process. We brought this, we had a mark scribe here with the lock collar. And we had to go all the way around it once, and we had to go a quarter of the way around again. So we're just about around once. Getting pretty tight, though. Let's see where this ends up now before we go too much further. Oh, yeah. Because they said you cannot back it up. Okay, grinder project should be done. We're going to uh, start it up now and see once what it does. That's good. You can see how fast those hammers turn. And that was just at an idle. So whatever it touches, it's going to absolutely pulverize. Works! That's that! Well, kind of forgot to include you guys and I already started. But I thought I'd show you what we're making here. A little bit of a portable power washer. Kotzi power washer. And it's actually electric so we needed a generator. Right Rams? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, so we needed a generator, so we got a couple plugs here on this here new air compressor. <clears throat> so it'll all be on a pallet, and that's really what we're making now, is a metal pallet out of this big four inch square TV. So, this is where we're at now. It Currently, doesn't have a tank, and I know this is installed yet on the ground. Alrighty, he's alive. I'm gonna test it out. This is pretty slick. Never been able to do this before. That power wash, the forklift, and the shop. All done. This is our washout we have here at the farm. This building was specifically built to wash out cattle trailers and clean off equipment. You know, not like fine tuned cleaning or, you know, you're not really scrubbing things in here very much, but um, two big fire hoses on the side. The floor naturally slopes to the back there where it actually drops down about four feet and what we'll do is we'll come in, we can scoop out all the solids, but all the liquid stuff 
runs out the back corner there and ends up running into the lagoon. So what we're gonna do right now is one of our bunning spreaders um, has a floor that's broken in it. It's plastic floor and it broke. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean that out and uh, we gotta take the chain off and everything and get it ready. We already took the beaters off of the back, but we gotta get it ready to uh, put the new plastic floor in it. So Aiden and I will be busy washing here for a while. that much out there's a little bit in the front that's what we're working on now there's a bunch of rusted off bolts in the front that Hello. we're cutting out i'm gonna take How's the take the power washer and power wash it out the rest of the way Okay, it's clean. Now we're just gonna paint it, try and cover up some of this rust before we put in the new floor. We have these sprockets here that are getting pretty worn. So what we're gonna do now is we have to remove all this. So we're gonna take these gear boxes off, pull that shaft out and replace the sprockets. But just to give you an idea of what the chain, you know, that runs the floor that moves all the product to the back. That's a pretty good sized log chain. Very heavy, very heavy duty. And that's painted beautifully. Now we're putting these sprockets on that. And they proved to be a little bit tough to get out. I want to make sure you guys an update of how we've been coming along on the spreader. So, here's about where we are right now. Gearbox is off. Got the chain out. Got the box washed out really good and we actually painted it today. We'll be putting a plastic liner back in tomorrow most likely. Um, so we painted that up underneath just to preserve and make sure that everything's good underneath of there for Hopefully a long time, so we never have to mess with it. So yeah, took off both sides, gearboxes, took the shafts out. So what we go here is there's a bar. That's your main drive shaft that runs the chain. So show you here what we've taken apart so far. So right here are the sprockets that were on this shaft they're getting pretty war so things are that bad 
and we already had to put the floor in anyway. We just figured uh, we're just gonna fix everything now while we're already doing it. Anyway, it sounds like this is gonna be the end of the video, so thank you very much. Have a good day. Subscribe.